Welcome back, everybody, for some more Grand Dukes of the West Burgundian campaign. Uh, last time we did the Wolf and the Lion. That was a pretty neat scenario, fighting off all the different French factions. Uh, but now we will, we will be going to the Cleansing of Paris. Let's get into this. In England, they celebrate the Battle of Agincourt as a victory over France. In truth, it was a victory only over the Armagnacs. The Burgundians stayed out of the fight, and John eagerly watched as the English king did his work for him, decimating the Armagnac alliance. Still, the English invasion of France had swiftly turned in Henry's favor. With the road to Paris now open, he marched his armies towards the French capital. Sensing his time to strike, John the Fearless rallied his armies. He would race the English to Paris and seize it from the Armagnacs before Henry could arrive. Interesting. Now we are going to remember to turn the volume back down so you don't have super loud game volume throughout the scenario. Sorry about that for the last vid, guys. I realized that afterward. Uh, kill Bernard de Armagnac to conquer Paris. Three guild leaders that are willing to cooperate with the Burgundians can be found in the city. Meet with them and attempt to earn their support. John the Fearless must rely on the strength of his army. He can neither build his own economy nor train additional troops. However, influential Parisian citizens that are dissatisfied with the rule of the Armagnacs may be persuaded to join the Burgundians. The Armagnacs control all of Paris's gates, drive, uh, drive away or eliminate the soldiers guarding each gate to open them. The struggle for Paris is already in full swing. You'll find insurgents that you can integrate into your army everywhere in the city and in its vicinity. John the Fearless has assembled uh, his army west of Paris near the St. Martin Abbey. Uh, from here, a road leads to the Port de Boussy. Uh, with the help of defectors, the Burgundians should not have much difficulty in capturing the gate to get access to Paris. The Armagnacs uh, control the city, but have upset many of its residents. Spies report that street fights are already breaking out between Armagnac soldiers and the townspeople everywhere. Surrounded by his bodyguards, Bernard de Armagnac has withdrawn to the north of the city. The Parisian guilds uh, have not forgotten many of the favors John the Fearless has done for them. University scholars could be willing to help the Burgundians get rid of the Armagnacs. Scouts report that a huge English force is marching towards Paris. John the Fearless must conquer Paris before the English arrive. Ready? We will help you, Burgundians. The Armagnacs reign of terror must be brought to an end. The gate is ours, but there is no time to rest. We must conquer Paris before the English arrive and take what is rightfully mine. All right. Okay, the, it, there's a time limit. Conquer the city before the English arrive. I, I was just chuckling a little bit because now I've done a lot of speed running in my time. Not as much as some others, but I've done plenty of it and plenty for this scenario. This looks to be exactly the area of Paris that you bust into. Also, just realized that Bernard de Armagnac is blue, like the you play as Franks. Yeah. Yeah, like this is where, you know, we brought our Trebs in with a speedrun video. We popped in right here. So I imagine that the uh, the design is going to be fairly similar. There should be like a castle here. Yes, there is. This makes me think even more that it's a Bassi campaign. Huzzah. Okay. Paris is just up ahead. Let us locate the refugees and escort them to the rendezvous point with the king's men. Okay, so we have a huge army here. With uh, post-castle age upgrades. Guild leader. Supra. Bernard forbade the craftsmen's guild to cut wood in the nearby forests. And so... They lack building materials. If we drive the Armagnacs out of the forests, the Parisian craftsmen will surely take our side. Duly noted. So how do we actually conquer the city? 
I'm not too sure. Find a safer route? Okay. Um... Did not intend to do this. The bridge to Ile de la Cité is heavily guarded to find a safer route to advance further in Paris, but that's the only way you can get into it! Per Joan of Arc 5. Oh, I made a mistake. But I did not realize. I mean, okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just try like trying to figure out what's going on as much as everything else. Now Paris has one more castle, and it's right here, naturally. Rip. Well, we've lost a decent amount of our army. But we must keep going. Yeah, this is more or less the exact same Paris. Oh, there's a gate here. There, there used to not be a gate here. That's actually locked. Oh, there's a guild leader. It's very exciting being a Corgi. Uh, destroy the Armagnac River blockade. Okay. This gatehouse is no longer controlled by the Armagnacs. So what do the gatehouses give to us? Other than exit out of the city? Uh, let's just check outside a little bit and see what's up. Wait, what? We can only go through one of the gates? That's so weird. Yeah, I guess we're not doing that. Anyway, there isn't, uh, in Joan, there isn't this little blockade thingy here. But obviously this is kind of part of the scenario. Yes, 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 I know. We, we might need to get this, give this one another go, because we've already lost so many units. Oh, this bridge also didn't used to be here. Okay. 
Stop it! There we go. The river blockade has been lifted. The merchant ah. will repair one of the destroyed bridges to help us cross to the other side of the set. Well, those guys are all pretty dead. Two monks from the Abbey of Saint Martin have decided to join our forces. Okay. It's kind of far away, though. And I kind of only have John the Fearless. Okay, yeah, let's just restart this. That's, a, that's okay, we just uh, didn't realize we went the wrong way. Just keep going right away. The gate is ours, but there is no time to waste. We must conquer Paris before the English arrive and take what is rightfully mine. Duly noted. But we're friendos of the English. I guess we're neutral with uh, Henry V. Or I guess we haven't formed that alliance yet. This gatehouse is no longer controlled by the Armagnacs. Good stuff. So let's not go this way. Well, first we do need to talk to the guild leader. Bernard forbade the craftsmen's guild to cut wood in the nearby forests. And so, they lack building materials. If we drive the Almanacs out of the forests, the Parisian craftsmen will surely take our side. Surely take our side. To be fair, I can't really complain about annoying archer micro in this instance because, you know, the longbowman and the scenario and Joan is kind of a nightmare. Well, this is going significantly better. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, where is the other guild leader around here? Is he by these markets? Uh, maybe by the trade workshop? Oh yes, the one gate that opens. Ah, here he is. Our enemies block the river, bringing all trade to a standstill. If we destroy the river blockade, the merchants' guild will help us conquer the city. This gatehouse is no longer controlled by the Armagnacs. Huzzah! Man, this is going so much better. You know, it just takes one run where you have no idea what you're doing, and then you 
realize what you're doing a little too late. Oops. Barbaric Almanac soldiers took advantage of the general confusion. They stole the most oh. precious artifacts from the university here in Paris. We should return these great pieces of French heritage. Oh, it retrieved some relics. But I don't have any monks. And even when they give us missionaries, those don't pick up relics. <laughs> Let's get these guys. The river blockade has been lifted. The merchants will repair one of the destroyed bridges. They are very quick working. So I thought that the Armagnacs would just be a dummy AI like the Britons are, or the English are, in Joan 5, but it seems like they do actively send units against us wherever we happen to be. Well, you, got, you, got, you guys got a long way to go. Just keep uh, maybe to the outskirts of the city for now. Now, in Joan, there is only one way to get out of the city via gate, and that's through where St. Bernard, or not St. Bernard, that's a dog. Um, okay, okay, they added a gate here. St. Bernard. Guess just shift Q them through the safe areas. This gatehouse is no longer controlled by the Almanacs. Feels good, man. Thirty-five minutes until the English arrive. We must hurry. Oh, we're making so much better time. Uh, but because we can't actually get out of the city this time, I kind of want to see what's on the outside of the city. Because they did say that there were, like, other forces or something like that. We just find the huge Burgundian ambush for Joan. <laughs> but where's Compiègne? Well, these guys are very low, so the missionaries can help out a bit with that. Where's the Burgundian ambush? Also, where, where's Compiègne? Looks like uh, the Chateau de Compiègne hasn't been built yet. Kappa. I do kind of want to do a bit of scouting, though. How is the good is the line of sight on these guys? Not spectacular. I guess let's just use a crossbowman, then. Missionaries can heal people up a little bit. We're not too, too pressed for time. I was like, oh, is that something? No, that that's a deer. Oh! Here's some coustier. I guess that's something. It's not huge, but it's something. Uh, let's get back to the city. I don't want to spend too long out here. But we can definitely see at the end of the scenario. Um, 
Mm -hmm. What all the stuff that we missed. And of course, please uh, let me know in the comments. As I'm recording this, uh, the first two videos of Edward Longshanks came up. So the first two campaign videos for Lords of the West. And you guys are already doing a really good job of pointing out all the stuff that you get. Uh, that I happen to not get on my playthrough. My initial playthrough, because, uh, yeah, I'm doing these again at some point. Hello! The cowardly Arminax have imprisoned some men of the Butcher's Guild. Aren't you the ones that rebelled against us? Wasn't the Butcher's Guild, like, the people that rebelled against us? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Sigh. Trek all the way back, and we have to go outside the city again. Yep, there's the cathedral. Same place it always has been. Was that guy just like shooting at us from a. <laughs> like side shooting us? Is he 360 no scoping us? Uh, I try not to do this in official campaign videos, but uh, let's just speed this up a little bit. No, oh, I mean, it was literally just waiting. Butcher. It's a militia, but it has not amazing, but not awful stats. I assume we'll get all the butchers on our side. Bust him out! Why, hello there, butchers. Nice to meet you. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, now we're gonna go... We should probably hang outside the city for the time being, now that I think about it. I still don't know how we're going to get the relics. We don't have any monks. Missionaries, again, can't pick up relics. But, yeah, I don't think there would be any way to go out other than through the uh, the teeth of Bernard de Armagnac. To be honest, I'm a little confused because I'm not too sure who the Armagnacs are and why. Like, where's the King of France in all of this? I should probably do some research because I'm sure you guys could tell me in chat, YouTube comments, same thing. But uh, by the time this video goes live, I'll uh, probably have already finished every single one of the campaigns. Uh, I should probably just do some research on my own. Yeah, we can't get to this guy. Okay. Are we strong enough to take this out, though? I'm not too sure. I, I kind of want to do it, guys. TBH. Oh, well. <laughs> or, no, we have to conquer the city probably as well as kill Bernard. Looks like we have to do both things. Or, like, you know, one is not doing the other. They're two separate goals. Zutalo! Zutalo! 
All right, Bernard. Die. I am slain. Avenge me, my brother. Avenge me. Oh, the Armagnacs have resigned. Oh. What is this? Have the Burgundian daredevils beaten us to Paris? Damn you, John the Fearless. Did we win? Oh. Okay. So I guess we didn't really need to do most of those side quests. We just need to take a sneaky path and then take them out. Paris was now in Burgundian hands, but in an enemy of the English king. Sorry. Not wanting to find both the Armagnacs and the English at the same time, he moved to make peace with his French rivals. The heir to the French throne, the Dauphin, agreed to meet with him on a bridge near Motto. John and the Dauphin each arrived with ten of their trusted men, and John knelt before the Dauphin as a show of respect. But as he rose, two men of the Dauphin's retinue, who were Armagnac loyalists, sprung into action and charged John with axes raised. It was a trap. Before the meeting could even begin, John the Fearless was struck down and killed. While the Dauphin only watched, unperturbed. It was a fitting end for the man whose career had started with just such an assassination. The Burgundians were outraged. There would be no peace between the French factions. And Henry V would go on to win many more battles against his fractured enemies. But while this marks the end of the story of John the Fearless... The tale of Burgundy is not yet over. Oh boy. So, uh, that yellow yeah, kind of surprising. Paris collected a lot of food. How many bills do they have? 34. Oh, there's a lot we could have discovered on this map. Oh, relic carts. So one of the relic carts was over here. And another one was over here, so we could have returned those. I'm not sure what they would have given us, but again, let me know in the comments. Uh, more friendos we can find. Maybe we get these monks. Oh, yeah, yeah, these are Gaia units. This is where Henry's army is. Oh, okay, so it's across a, it's across a river that we can't... Yeah, we can't actually get access to, to Henry. They probably, like, build the bridge and then you lose. Servant! Ripperino. Yay. Uh, so we could have gotten more stuff. We could have gotten a lot more stuff out here, but honestly, it wasn't really necessary. Yay. We could have gotten a lot of stuff out here. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you actually got to the lumber camps via shallows over here. Okay. See, I thought you just had to go all the way around. Because, <laughs> again, these shallows weren't here in the uh, the original Joan mission. Oh, okay, there are also some guys over here that we could have gotten. So lots of little nooks and crannies you could have explored. Regardless, that was the Cleansing of Paris, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. And uh, next up, we will continue the Burgundian story with whoever John the Fearless's successor is. Philip the Good? I don't know, maybe someone else. Unholy Marriage. See you guys next time.